Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn about composition of functions and invertible functions. First of all, let us see what is composition of functions. Let f from a to b and g from b to c be two functions Then, composition of the functions f and g denoted by g o f is defined as the function G O F from A to C given by G O F of X is equal to G of F of X for all X belonging to A. Let's take one example. Here we are given the function F from R to R defined as f of x is equal to 8x cube and the function g from r to r defined as g of x is equal to x to the power 1 by 3. Here we need to find f o g and g o f and we need to show that f o g is not equal to g o f. So first of all, let us find g o f of x. This will be equal to g of f of x equal to g of, now f of x is 8x cube. So here we will get 8x cube. Now g of 8x cube will be equal to 8x cube to the power 1 by 3 and this will be equal to 2x. Now let us find out f o g of x. So this will be equal to f of g of x equal to f of g of x is x to the power 1 by 3. So f of x to the power 1 by 3 will be equal to 8 into x to the power 1 by 3 whole cube. So this is equal to 8x. Now, g o f of x is equal to 2x and f o g of x is equal to 8x. So from here we can say that f o g is not equal to g o f. Now let's move on to invertible function. A function f from x to y is defined to be invertible if there exist a function g from y to x such that G O F is equal to identity function on set X and F O G is equal to identity function on set Y. The function G is called the inverse of function F and is denoted by f inverse. Also, if the function f is invertible, then the function f 
must be 1 1 and on to also conversely if the function f is 1 1 and on to then the function f must be invertible. Let's take one example. Here we are given the function f from n to y defined as f of x is equal to 4x plus 5 where y is the set of y belonging to n such that y is equal to 4x plus 5 for some x belonging to n. And we need to show that f is invertible. So for this consider an arbitrary element y of set y. So now as y belongs to the set y that means y is equal to 4x plus 5 for some x belonging to n. So from here we get x is equal to y minus 5 upon 4. Now define a function g from y to n by g of y is equal to y minus 5 upon 4. Now g o f of x is equal to g of f of x. So this will be equal to g of now f of x is 4x plus 5. So this will be 4x plus 5. Now g of 4x plus 5 will be equal to 4x plus 5 minus 5 upon 4 which is equal to x and now f of g of y is equal to f of g of y and this will be equal to f of now g of y is equal to y minus 5 upon 4 so here we will get y minus 5 upon 4 and this will be equal to 4 into y minus 5 upon 4 plus 5 and this will be equal to y. Therefore, from this we get that g o f is equal to the identity function on set n and f o g is equal to the identity function on set y. So, this implies that the function f is invertible And f inverse is equal to the function g. Thus, in this session we have learned composition of functions and invertible functions. With this, we finish this session. Hope you must have understood all the concepts. Goodbye, take care and have a nice day.